Hello. Thanks for clicking on this video. In this video I am going to show you how can add multiple cameras in your Unreal Engine scene. So, let's get started. First, we are going to create a new level. For that, click on File, then click on New Level and then, I am going to select the basic level for this tutorial. So, you will see empty plane and then we will add some object to our scene. For that, click on this plus icon, then shapes, then add cube. After that, cube will be added to your scene. I am using cube for demonstration purpose, but you can use anything in your project. Now, this is too small, so I am going to make it bigger by pressing R button on my keyboard and drag it upward after pressing W button on my keyboard. Now here you can see our beautiful object in our viewport. Now it's time to add camera. To add a camera, you have to click on this plus icon again, click on cinematic, then click on cine camera actor. Here you can see in outliner, camera has been added. For better understanding, I am going to rename my camera by pressing F2 button on my keyboard. And change it to cam1. Now I am going to snap my camera to my view. For that, I move my camera for better angle then right click on camera, then snap object to view. After that camera will be locked, but I want to move my camera. For that click on this perspective button, then click on camera viewport, and again click on perspective button, then select your camera one. Now I will adjust my camera accordingly. This is time to animate my camera. For that, we have to make a level sequence. To make a level sequence, click on this icon, then add level sequence. After that I am going to name it something very simple like, shot 1. Here you will see a new window named sequence, now I will drag and drop my camera to this sequence. To animate this, all we have to do is, go to transform button, then go to the first frame of the timeline of the sequence, then click this small plus button, and then go few frames forward, make some transformations to your camera, then again, go to transform, click on the plus button. After that click on this camera icon to preview your animation. Then hit the space bar, and you will see your animation. Now, it's time to add another camera. For that, I am going to change my viewport type to default viewport, by clicking perspective button, then default viewport. Now, click on add button again, then click on cinematic, then click on cine camera actor. After that another camera will be added to your outliner. Again, for better understanding we are going to rename it to cam2 by pressing F2 button, gently on our keyboard. Now change your camera angle according to your liking, then right click on camera 2, then snap view to object. After that, your second camera will be locked to your view. But I am going to move my camera, by changing the viewport by clicking on the perspective, then click on camera 2. Now I am transforming the camera according to my liking. After that I am going to add another level sequence, by clicking on this icon, then add level sequence. And again I am going to name it very simple like shot 2. Now we are going to do same process as before. I will drag and drop my cam 2 to sequence. Go to first frame of the sequence, after that go to transform and hit that plus keyframe button. Now move few frames forward then transform your camera, and again hit that plus keyframe button. Hit the space button very very, gently and you will see your animation. And finally, we are going to add both camera shots together by adding master sequence, by clicking on this icon, then add master sequence. After that, name it according to liking, and you can choose how many camera shots you want. I have two camera, so I am going to change it to two and create your master sequence. Now you will see two shots in your sequence. Select both of them and delete. Now in under the sequence, go to the shots, then hit that plus button, search for your sequence, which we saved. Type shot 1 and select your first level sequence. After that, your first short will be added to your master sequence. Now we are going to add second short by, clicking on that plus button again then search and select your shot too. After that again your second sequence will be added to timeline. 
drag your second sequence above. And there you go, you have two cameras in your scene. This was just the basic guide, you can add as many cameras as you want and render them. If you want to know how to render these camera shots, please do subscribe, I am making another tutorial on that topic. Thanks for watching.